In this lesson we will look at the conversion of metric units of capacity and volume. The question states that 17,000 milliliters is equal to how many liters? The first thing I want you to do is to underline the units that we're working with. So milliliters to liters. Okay. Now the next thing that I'd like for you to do is to draw our conversion table. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it right here and I need to make sure that it has three columns and that it has three rows. Now the first thing that I want you to do is to fill out that top row and the way that you fill out that top row is you take those milliliters put them right in this first box then you take the liters and you put them in this final box on this first row. Now I want you to go look at your mathematics uh, formula chart and um, look over here and find that you have one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. Now notice that it is written one liter equals a thousand milliliters. It's a little different than what we have in our conversion table and so make sure that you write it down exactly like our conversion table is written down. So you're gonna have to reverse that and say one thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Now I hope that looking at a thousand and going down to one it's pretty obvious that I had to divide and then I think it's still even more obvious <laughs> that I had to divide by 1,000. So to get from 1,000 to 1, I have to divide by 1,000. This is the most important step in the process. This right here, I'm going to put a little star above it. That's what we need to do on our question or with our question to make sure that we get the right number of liters. So I'm going to pull this. 1,000 liters down and then I'm going to work with my original unit 17,000 and that's going to go in this bottom row 17,000 and I'm looking for this right I'm looking for this answer right here so 17,000 divided by 1,000 is what well a quick way to do that is take 17,000 divide by 1,000 look hey it's division I can just take the zeros that are on top and the zeros that are on bottom so the numerator and the denominator mark those out and that's the same thing as having 17 divided by 1 well that's pretty obvious that that is 17 so my answer is 17 liters now there's another way that I'd like to show you also and this way you start with what you're given it's 17,000 milliliters now everyone knows that you can multiply one by any number in the world and it'll still come out with the same number and so this method is actually just doing that and it's called dimensional analysis I'm going to multiply this number by one but it's a little bit different one than what you're used to one liter and 1000 milliliters are the exact same measurement they just have different units and so I can take one liter over 1000 milliliters and that's just like multiplying this original answer by one because it's one liter which is a certain volume and 1000 milliliters which is the same volume it just has different units well when you multiply across the nice thing is you can mark out things that are in common in the numerator and the denominator so I'm mark those out and I can mark out these zeros also look at that get rid of those get rid of those so now I have 17 times 1 divided by 1 17 times 1 17 keep my unit right 17 liters 
divided by 1 equals 17 liters. It's a really uh, slick way to make sure that you properly uh, divide or multiply as you go through the steps in the conversion. Uh, if you're more comfortable using this data table, I'd say stick with that. 